hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the knapsack and its classification so first i will be showing you what is a knapsack problem along with its types and i will be explaining by using some examples and at the end of the video i will be showing you some of the examples of the knapsack variation problems which i will be solving later on in this playlist so let us first see what is a knapsack problem well what is a knapsack knapsack basically means a bag where you can store anything now what is a knapsack problem in a typical knapsack problem you will be given items which will be having certain price that is profit and second thing which will be given is the weight of the item your goal will be to find the bag to get the maximum profit that means you can pick the weights and put them into the bag so that you do not exceed the capacity of this bag okay so given some inputs which will be containing profit and weight of every item you will be given n items you need to find the items which you will be putting into your bag so that your capacity doesn't exceed and also you get the maximum profit okay so let us see an example in this case you are given let's say n items so your first item is having weight w1 and the profit is p1 Similarly, your second item is having weight W2 and profit P2 and like that your nth item will be having weight WN and profit PN. So your capacity of the bag is let's say W. Then the problem says that how many items can you pick from here okay, and put it into your bag so that the capacity of the bag doesn't exceed. This is the first condition and the second condition is you want to maximize the profit. Okay. Now there are many ways in which you can include an item into your bag. You can include the entire item into your bag. You can include multiple instances of item into your bag or you can also include fractional part of this item into your bag. It all depends on what type of knapsack it is. So in this simple example, if you are having let's say three items, this is item one, item two and item three, which are having associated weights in kg and this is the entire profit for selling an item okay and if let's say the capacity of your bag is 7 kg then what items will you put into your bag to maximize the profit and let us also assume that it is not possible to include fractional part of the items you will have to include the entire item then there can be many combinations like you can take this item weight 3 and item weight 2 and the profit you will get will be 8 plus 5 which will be 13 you will not be able to put this item weight 4 because when you include this 3 plus 2 then the item weight consumed will be 5 and the leftover weight will only be 7 minus 5 which will be 2. So in this case uh, the profit will be 13 only. But if you take some other combination let us say you take this weight 2 and weight 4 then the space consumed will be 6. 6 weight will be consumed and the leftover weight will only be 1 but the profit will be 9 plus 5 which will be 14 and this 14 is greater than the earlier uh, calculated profit which was 13 but the best option here will be to include this item weight 4 and item weight 3 which will give you the maximum profit and this will also not exceed the capacity of the bag so 4 and 3 will be equals to weight 7 and the capacity of the bag is 7 so this bag will be completely filled and the profit which you will be getting is 9 plus 8 which will be 17 and this will be the maximum profit so this will be your answer okay so the way you fill the bag is basically defined by the knapsack type so let's first see how the knapsack is classified so the first classification is knapsack can be classified into three types it can be 0 1 knapsack bounded knapsack or an unbounded knapsack in a 0 1 knapsack if you are having an item then it can get included or it can get excluded okay so if it gets included then we will say that the item is included and so its one instance is included into our bag we cannot include multiple instances that is multiple same items okay and if it is excluded then we have skipped that item so zero number of instances of that item is present into our bag so either zero instance or one instance of an item can be present into a bag because multiple instances are not allowed in a zero one knapsack. If we are having a bounded knapsack, then we can either include an item. Let's say this is an item. We can include an item or we can exclude an item. 
If we are including an item, then we can include one instance, two instance, three instance, etc., n number of instances at max. But this n should not be equals to infinity. Okay, so this n should be bounded. It should be having some limiting value. So these type of knapsacks where we can include multiple instances of the same item, but we cannot include it infinite number of times. So those are known as the bounded knapsacks. If we have no such boundations on the number of instances we can include for an item, then that type of knapsack will be known as unbounded knapsack. Okay. Now knapsack can also be classified as fractional knapsack or an integer knapsack. In a fractional knapsack, given an item, let's say its weight is 3 kg. We can include fractional part of an item. Let's say we want to just include one third of the item. So the weight will be 1 kg. And so the profit which we will be getting will be one third of the entire profit for the item. So in this case, we can partially fill up the leftover space in our bag to get the maximum profit if we are using this fractional knapsack. This can be solved by using greedy algorithm which I will be showing later on in this video and so this will not be falling under dynamic programming. In an integer type knapsack, we can't pick fractional part of an item. If we are given an item and let's say its weight is 3 kg and if the capacity of the bag which is left, okay this is filled and this part is left. So if the leftover part is let's say 2 kg, then it won't be possible to fill this item, any part of this item into this bag. Because if we include this item, then we will have to include the entire 3 kg. Okay. So that is what the concept of integer says. It says that we can either include entirely or we will have to exclude it. So I hope you understood both these classifications. Actually, in real life, you will not be seeing purely a single type of knapsack. Knapsack will be of multiple types like a 0 1 knapsack is also an integer type knapsack okay so like that you can have bounded knapsack along with an integer type or bounded along with fractional knapsacks okay so knapsacks can be of combinational type now let us see an example of 0 1 knapsack well the input and the goal of the knapsack problems are basically the same the input is items with weight and profits are given and your capacity of the bag is given as w your goal is always to maximize the profit by picking the elements and fill the bag. Our constraint is, first constraint is each item can be picked only once in case of 0-1 knapsack. That is, we have just a single instance allowed for a given item. We have choice to either pick or reject an element. So if we have an item, we can either reject it and so zero number of instances of that item will be present in our bag. Otherwise, we can include this item and so exactly one number of instance of that item will be present in our bag. Therefore, it is known as 0-1 knapsack. Now, the second constraint is we can't pick more than size of the knapsack. So, our bag will be having certain size which will be the capacity W. And always in a knapsack problem, in any type of knapsack problem, we cannot exceed the size of this bag. So, this is common for every problem for knapsack. Now let us take an example. In this case, we are given three items with weight and profit and we are given a knapsack which is having weight equals to 6 that is its capacity is 6. Now how do we fill this bag in order to get maximum profit and we will be using this 0-1 knapsack concept only. So if we include an item then we can either include it or exclude it. So this will be having two choices. We can include it or exclude it. This will be having two choices, include or exclude, and this will be having two choices, include it or exclude it. So what will be the total number of possibilities or combinations in this case? Each item is having two possibilities. So the total number of combinations will be 2 to the power number of items, that is 2 to the power n. So this is exponential. If you try all possibilities, then the time complexity for the solution will be exponential. Okay. Now in this case, what weight should we choose in order to get maximum profit? If we select this weight 3 and weight 4, then it will not be possible because that will exceed the size which is 6. If we include this weight 3 and weight 1, then the weight will be equals to 4 and the leftover weight which will be 6 minus 4, it will be 2. And so this third weight will not be included. So the total profit will come out to be 5 plus 2 which will be 7. Okay. If we include this let's say 4 and 1, 
then the total weight which we are utilizing is 5 and the total profit will be 6 plus 2 which is 8 and this 8 is greater than 7 so this is a better option okay and like this if we explore all possibilities then you will find that we will get maximum profit 6 plus 2 which will be 8 if we include this 4 plus 1 so we will include this 4 and 1 and we will get this 1 kg as our leftover part okay this will not be utilized and this will be used so the maximum profit will be 6 plus 2 which will be 8 this is a concept of 0 1 knapsack we cannot include a single instance multiple times like in this case if we are having capacity 6 and if we were using let's say unbounded knapsack then we could have included 6 instances of this item which is having weight 1 and so the total profit would have been 2 into 6 which would have been 12 okay so for an unbounded knapsack this could have given the maximum profit as 12 so the profit will vary depending on the type of knapsack which we are solving so this is the entire concept about 01 knapsack and i hope you understood it now let us see the next type of knapsack which is fractional and integer knapsack first we will see the fractional knapsack let us say we are given the items with weight and profit and we are given a knapsack having weight equals to 6 then if we are using fractional knapsack concept then a very logical or an intuitive way will be to calculate the rate of profit per kg we are getting on each item this we did not do for 01 knapsack because here we had to include the entire item okay so we cannot just depend on the rate it will not give us the optimal answer but in this case since we can include fractional part of items therefore calculating the rate of the item will be much more intuitive in order to get the correct answer so the idea here is to include the item giving the maximum rate first into our bag and so we will go in the decreasing order of profit so which item is giving us more profit that will be calculated by profit divided by weight profit by weight will be giving the rate of profit for each kg of an item so item 1 is giving us profit of 1.67 units per kg similarly item 2 is giving us profit of 1.5 units per kg and item 3 is giving profit of 2 units per kg so if our bag is having capacity of 6 which one should we select obviously the one giving us maximum profit should be filled into the bag first okay so we will try to fill this third one that is the third item maximum units into our bag but if we are only allowed to use a single instance of each item so if we use this item then 2 kg will be filled so first of all we will be picking weight 2 and this will be filled into the bag so the profit here will be equals to 4 now what is the next best choice the next best choice is to include this first item which is of weight 3 so we will pick weight 3 item and the entire profit will be 5 so 4 plus 5 will be added now what will be the leftover weight the weights included are 2 and 3 so total weight is 5 and the total size of the bag is 6 so 6 minus 5 will be 1 1 kg is still left now the third best option is this item 2 so this is giving us profit at the rate of 1.5 and it is having weight 4 but the leftover weight is 1 so we will be including 1 kg only into the bag so 1 kg will give us profit of 1 into 1.5 so this will be added here this will be our last addition so the total profit in this fractional knapsack will be 10.5 and what we have done here given the weight and profit we find out the rate for each and every item per kg and then we have just used the greedy approach for our selection of items so this is a greedy algorithm this is not a dynamic programming algorithm but what happens if we solve it by 0 1 knapsack so that profit here will come out to be 10 because we will be including this second item entirely and this third item which will be giving us the profit equals to 6 plus 4 which will be 10 now the profit for these two knapsacks are different because these two are applying different logics okay now if you see this 0 1 knapsack then it is applying the concept of integer knapsack because given an item we have to entirely include the item or we have to entirely reject the item so that is the concept of integer knapsack integer knapsack means we cannot include the fractional items 
जीरो वन नैपसैक इज अ सबसेट ऑफ इंटीजर नैपसैक बिकॉज बाउंडेड एंड अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक्स कैन ऑल्सो कम अंडर दिस वेरिएशन ऑफ इंटीजर नैपसैक आई होप यू गॉड द अंडरस्टैंडिंग यूर ना वॉट इज अ बाउंडेड एंड अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक इन अ बाउंडेड नैपसैक ईच आइटम कैन बी इंक्लूडेड जीरो और मोर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स अप टू अ सर्टन लिमिट विच इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू इन्फिनिटी अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक हैज नो सच लिमिट सो इफ यू सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ बाउंडेड नैपसैक दैन गिवेन एन आइटम यू कैन हैव एक्स इंस्टेंसेज ऑफ दैट आइटम एंड दैट एक्स विल बी बाउंडेड बाई अ वैल्यू एल विच इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू इन्फिनिटी दिस इज लिमिटेड बट इफ यू सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक दैन गिवेन एन आइटम यू कैन हैव एक्स इंस्टेंसेज ऑफ दैट आइटम एंड दैट कैन बी इंक्लूडेड ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल्स टू जीरो नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सो देर इज नो अपर लिमिट टू दैट ओके सो नैपसैक्स आर जनरली ऑफ मिक्स टाइप्स दे आर नॉट ऑफ अ सिंगल टाइप एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द मोस्ट कॉमन वंस आर इंटीजियर प्लस बाउंडेड एंड इंटीजियर प्लस अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक इन अ इंटीजियर प्लस बाउंडेड नैपसैक फ्रैक्शनल आइटम्स आर नॉट अलाउड प्लस द लिमिट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ इंस्टेंसेज पर आइटम इज ऑल्सो बाउंडेड ओके एंड इन एन इंटीजियर प्लस अनबाउंडेड नैपसैक फ्रैक्शनल आइटम्स आर नॉट अलाउड बिकॉज इट इज ऑफ इंटीजियर टाइप बट देर विल बी नो लिमिट ऑन द नंबर ऑफ इंस्टेंसेज पर आइटम दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस अनबाउंडेड कंडीशन ओके आई होप यू गॉट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग यूर नाउ वॉट आर सम ऑफ द नैपसैक वेरिएशन वेल वी कैन सॉल्व सम ऑफ द पेरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर दिस नैपसैक इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू डिटेक्ट एंड हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई अ प्रॉब्लम एज अ नैपसैक प्रॉब्लम एंड वंस वी लर्न हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई द नैपसैक प्रॉब्लम एंड वॉट एल गोरदम टू अप्लाई एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व इट देन गिवन एन अदर प्रॉब्लम you will be easily able to apply the same logic and solve it because there can be unlimited number of problems which will be having slight variation for this knapsack problem therefore i suggest that you closely follow all the videos so that you develop a very good understanding about this problems and so you will be able to solve it very very easily so these are the problem variations which i will be solving subset sum problem partition equals subset sum count of subsets with sum equals x partition a set into two subsets such that difference of subset sum is minimum and the target sum problem so there can be some more variations as well but these are the important ones and if once you understand these problems you will be able to solve other variations as well so i will be showing you the relation of the knapsack problem with these all dp problems okay i hope you will follow the entire playlist in order to get the fear of dp out of you So I hope to see you in the next video like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you in our next video thank you